Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Joseph Nybert Carpenter was born on this day, September 1st, in 1846, and became known as one of Natchez's leading philanthropists. Carpenter's father, Nathaniel, had moved permanently to Natchez in 1838, becoming the owner of several steamboats as well as a success in the cotton trade. Like other Natchezians during the Civil War, Nathaniel Carpenter counseled neutrality, but both of his sons joined the Confederate Army with Joseph Nybert Carpenter joining the Breckenridge Guards. After the war, J.N. became president of the Natchez, Jackson, and Columbia Railroad and was involved in a number of local industries. The railroad town of Carpenter in nearby Pie County was named for him. Perhaps Carpenter's most important contribution to Natchez, however, was financing the construction of three buildings for the city's public school system, Carpenter No. 1, Carpenter No. 2, and the school building on Prince Street. Carpenter 1 and 2, as the schools were known, were designed by the prolific architect R.H. Hunt of Chattanooga. Carpenter also set up the Agnes Carpenter Fund, which provided milk money for deserving students in Natchez. Today, that trust continues to provide funds for the local school district as well as the Armstrong Public Library. This is Esther Thompson Carpenter, and I live at the Elms Bed and Breakfast in Natchez. Joseph Nybert Carpenter I was my great-great-grandfather. This has been your Natchez History Minute.